Hello, and welcome to another session of the EDOX training series. My name is Chris Gruber, and today I'll be showing you RM Server Part 4, Maintenance, part of our RM University series. In previous chapters, we installed and configured RM on the server, set up a file plan, and got familiar with everyday use of the file plan. In this chapter, we're going to cover record and file part disposition, including cutoff rollover and disposal. Administration was about what we do for records, and operations was about what we do with records, but maintenance is about what we do to records. This chapter is about the end of a records lifecycle. This tutorial is designed for EDOCS administrators and records managers who have already set file plan security and moved items as per our previous video. Let's take a look at what we're going to cover here. First, we'll discuss events and boxes and what purpose they serve. Next, we'll go over actions from cutoff rollover actions to storage actions, as well as disposal actions and disposal authorities. And finally, we'll take a look at processing from cutoff and rollover processing to disposal processing and how these work. Ready? Excellent. Let's begin. Events are date based fields used as triggers for actions. There are two types of events system and user. System events are managed by the system and are an essential part of actions and processing. User events are user supplied dates. To create events, select Management Events and click New. Enter Budget Committee as the event name, then enter File Part Close Date as the event type. Next, click OK and repeat these steps to create one part level and one record level event. At this point, pause the video and complete the process as specified by the details on screen. When you finish this, resume the video. A box is a physical container where file parts can be stored. Under Management, Storage Processing, Physical, you can organize file parts into boxes. Transfer and destroy allow for the transfer or destruction of entire boxes provided the parts within are due to be transferred or destroyed. To create a box, select Management, Boxes. The dialog shows all existing boxes by box code, location, and description. Next, click New. Many of these fields have multiple options we won't get into here, but they're detailed in the RM Admin Tool Guide. At this point, pause the video and complete the process as specified by the details on screen. When you finish this, resume the video. A box cannot be deleted if any file parts are currently assigned to it. If you want to dispose of the box and its contents, use Transfer or Destroy instead. Now it's time for what I call the action sequence. Actions are inheritable rules or parameters for how files and parts are handled at particular trigger points after the items are no longer being used. Cutoffs and rollovers are used to automatically close file parts, but rollovers will also create new files or parts. Cutoff rollover actions are event-based and neither prevent the manual closure or creation of new parts, nor apply to reopened parts. Storage actions control if and when file parts are moved from active to inactive locations based on a date calculated relative to an event. Storage actions can be applied at the file plan, term, or part level, and you can establish different rules for physical and electronic items. Before we discuss disposal actions and authorities, let's cover the topic of disposal. This takes one of two forms, transfer or destruction. Transfer means items are transferred to another organization. Destruction means items are physically and electronically destroyed. It's often referred to as final disposition because it's the final act performed on items. Disposal actions control if, when, and how items are finally disposed based on a date calculated relative to an event. Disposal actions can be applied at the file plan, term, or part level, but you cannot establish different rules for physical and electronic items. Disposal is done at the file and box levels. Individual documents cannot be disposed unless they are in an item being destroyed or you use record level disposal. Organizations use disposal authorities to manage destruction where disposal is set with regards to legal or regulatory authorities. That way you can confirm items are destroyed according to legal requirements. And though authorities aren't actions, the processes involved are nearly identical. To create actions or authorities, select Management, 
then choose the action or authority you want. For now, let's just choose Cut Off Rollover Actions, then click New. At this point, pause the video and complete the process as specified by the details on screen. When you finish this, resume the video. Any changes you make to an action apply to all terms and parts currently assigned that action. To assign an action or an authority, select the item and access its properties. Assign the annual processing cutoff rollover action to the corporate branch. Then assign the budget QTR rollover cutoff rollover action to budget in corporate committees internal. At this point, pause the video and complete the process as specified by the details on screen. When you finish this, resume the video. Events specify the conditions under which items will be processed. Actions specify how the item will be handled. Processing is the mechanism that RM uses to finish the life cycle of files and parts. Cutoff rollover actions aren't automatically processed. For these to occur, they must be processed manually by someone with rights. The procedure has four steps. Number one, specify a date or a range. Two, the system presents a list of candidates based on the range. 3. Select and queue potential items. And 4. Execute the process function. To process cutoff rollover actions, select Management Cutoff Rollover Processing. Select items due for processing by specified date or range and enter the appropriate dates. Click Show Items Ready for Cutoff Rollover. Select parts you want to process from the top pane, then click the down arrow to move parts into the queue. Finally, click Process Queued. The parts are processed and a report is printed. There are two types of disposal processing, destroy and transfer. These work in one of two ways, automatic selection of items based on assigned disposal actions or manual selection. To use the destroy function, select management, disposal processing, destroy. Select items by specified date or range, locations and sections. Enter the appropriate information using all locations and the corp section. Click show items ready for destroy, then highlight the items you want to destroy. Click the down arrow to queue the items, then click process queued. Record the details of the destruction consignment, then click OK. To use the transfer function, select management, disposal processing, transfer. Select items by specified data range, locations, and sections. Enter the appropriate information using all locations and sections. Click Show Items Ready for Transfer and highlight the items you want to transfer. Click the down arrow to queue the items and finally click Process Queued. Enter the details of the transfer consignment by selecting a transfer location, an output directory, 002 for consignment number, and authorized by you. Click OK. The resulting dialog indicates a report is being printed. After destroy or transfer, items aren't yet destroyed or transferred. Parts are in a destroy pending or a transfer pending state. Metadata is searchable and documents are checked out, but not editable, not even by docs supervisors. The next step is running a consignment. A consignment is a batch of records to be sent as a group for disposal processing. What that really means is it's a to-do list of items that are going to be handled in the real world, in the physical world. We've done the entire process from beginning to end as far as the record of those physical items is concerned. They've been processed and they've been marked as having been handled. Now we just need to make that list so that it can be handed off and physically taken care of the same way. The consignments function is used to finalize, show, or show all consignments. To view one, select Management, Disposal Processing, Consignments. Highlight the one you want to view, then click View Consignment. To undo one, 
click Undo Consignment. After undoing a consignment, all files within it are reset to available and all documents and records within it are reset to the DM available status. Then the consignment is deleted and a consignment rollback report is printed. To finalize one of these consignments, click Finalize Consignment. A report is generated and printed. Next, check Show Finalized Consignments and List. The destination, which is only for transfers, finalized date, and finalized by are recorded. Click Close. And now you've completed the lifecycle of a record. At this point, you should have working RM server extensions and admin tool installations, a functional file plan, and a basic understanding of the server side of eDocs RM. Congratulations! This has been RM Server Part 4, Maintenance. For more information on this topic, please refer to the RM Administration documentation. This is the last video in the RM University series covering the administrative side of things, but the series continues with our next chapter, eDocs RM Extensions, in which we go into the client-side application. That chapter is designed to stand alone, so it may be presented to users who are new to or wish to get better acquainted with RM Extensions. Visit our YouTube channel to keep up with all the videos in the eDocs training series. If you like this video, if you want to see more like it, or if you have ideas for other videos, then join the discussion on the eDocs DM forum in the Open Text Knowledge Center. Feel free to contact support if you need any further assistance. We'd be happy to help. And thank you for taking time to watch this video. We hope you found it useful and that you'll be back for more in the eDocs training series.